Hello everybody, this is Beetherbucket7 here with an update video. Now why would I be doing that? Hmm, I wonder. Well, wonder no more me, I will tell you exactly why we're doing this. And the reason we're doing this is because the November of 29, which is either tomorrow or today, or day in the past if you watch this video afterwards, that day, November 29th, is my channel's first anniversary since I rebooted it. That's right, it's now been one year since I posted that first Happy House video. Man, it feels like it's been a long time. But actually, it feels like it's not been a long time. What am I talking about? I don't know, it feels like I've been doing this a lot longer though. Because, I mean, it, I do put in a lot of videos and I mean, I, I've been at it for like what almost feels like forever, but it's only been a year, it's crazy. And at the same time, it feels crazy that it's already been a year. I mean, it just feels like yesterday I started working on Bavato's dungeon, and here I was in a completely different life scenario. And now, here I am, in the life scenario that I am in. With one year of playing Deadly Rooms of Death and other assorted games, on my resume? I had the perfect way to say that, but I forgot it. Anyway, point is, it's been one year, and that's awesome. Yes, yes it is, yes, yes. No doubt about it, that's awesome. It's rare that a project that I make will manage to remain more or less consistently updated over the course of a year like this. And, well, I have to say, the big reason that I have been through thick and thin it's because of you guys. Yes, that's right. You. You folks have been really supportive throughout this year that I've been doing videos. Always encouraging me to do more, encouraging me to just keep going and post more videos, and post one more video of Undertale. If it weren't for you guys, I probably wouldn't have done as well with the updating. Heck, I probably wouldn't have done anything at all because, let's be honest, the reason I do most of the things I do, it's for people's enjoyment. I want to make people happy with the things I do. The thing is, it's kind of a stupid flaw thing that I have, but if I don't know that I've made people happy, then the thing I do feels pointless. So I guess I kind of need like this constant loop of feedback, you know, to let me know that what I'm doing is still doing good and that people are still liking it and you know what, with this project of doing draw videos, I feel that loop, but not only that, I feel support and I feel like I'm doing this for people that really like my things, not for people who just pop and say, oh cool, man, what? I'm, they're gone. They, 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 I don't know where they went, but they're not here. <laughs> I don't know. I, I have a hard time sometimes motivating myself to do things. And, well, I guess I do need people to tell me, Be through Butkin 7 or Jeff, you are doing something that I love watching you do. And I want to see you do more of it. That kind of stuff is pretty much what pushes me to do things. I do this for you guys mostly. Sure, I do this uh, for the sake of also knowing that I can do it, and I do strive to make the videos that I also enjoy, but I'm doing this for you guys, you know. I want to make you guys happy with uh, these videos, and if I'm not making you happy, then in a way I feel like I failed. I guess that may not be the most healthy mindset to approach this by, but I want to do things for people. I don't know, if if I wasn't doing this as a sort of selfless act of entertainment, then I feel like I probably wouldn't have done this in the first place. I mean, yeah, I've done projects before for my own sake, but those projects were dropped as quickly as I started them. Yeah, the fact that I know for a fact that you guys are liking these videos, that you want me to do more of them, the fact that I can feel this, th this encouragement from you guys, that's what's pushing me through. And I, I guess I'm sorry if that kind of sounds a bit dumb and a bit exploitative or whatever. But I just want to know, you guys, you guys are the reason I'm doing this. 
So keep being awesome and I guess it'll rub off on me. <laughs> but yeah, so this year of Beast of Bikina 7 has been very, very heavy on the things happening department. And I'd like to mention some of my personal highlights. First of all, one thing that I really like doing this year, over the past year, the collab videos. Either with Nuntar or Skell or Drod Central or all of the above. <laughs> well, I've never done a collab video with Skell and other people. I need to get on that. Yeah, these collabs were awesome. And I love doing them because you guys are awesome collaborators and it is immense fun to be able to interact with you folks as I go through a hold or through some levels or whatever. It's just so awesome and I really am looking forward to doing more of this. I honestly feel like that doing these videos are the most fun when I get to share the experience alongside someone else. It's just such a wonderful thing. Don't worry, there are more collabs planned, especially in the near future. More on that later. Aside from that, another highlight of mine, well, I'd like to talk about my personal favorite Let's Play, and that would be Bovato's Dungeon. Now I know what you're thinking. Bovato's Dungeon is not that great. Why is it your favorite playthrough? Well, the answer is simple. It's kind of about the journey. When I started off Bavato's dungeon, I set this up as a big journey, right down to the epic prologue. Uh, the epic prologue. Uh, am I saying that right? Prologue? Prologue? Whatever. I, I was just building this up to be an epic adventure, and you know what? It was nothing short of a big adventure. An epic tale, an odyssey even. Not Larry Merck's, mind you, but still. It was a sprawling journey of over 30 videos and you know what, I cannot say that any playthrough fills me with such joy thinking about the trials and tribulations that I've gone through. It's just so great to know that I can feel that kind of thing just playing a simple draw and hold. I mean yeah, Bavato's dungeon has its flaws. No doubt about it. It has probably more flaws than most holds I've played. Alright. But there are none like it and I wouldn't have had it any other way. So yeah, Bavato's Dungeon, honestly it's my favorite video series and it would have been a disservice to not have it happen. Anyway, aside from that, another thing I'd like to touch upon, I guess I'd say overall it was a huge learning experience for me doing all of this. This this whole thing right there, this B3 Bikina 7 channel, this was an immense learning experience for me. Just figuring out uh, how to schedule things, figuring out how to make interesting commentary, figuring out how to not play uninteresting things. I'm still working on that one, don't worry, I'm gonna try to find a solution to that problem. Yeah, it's just been such an immense learning experience and yes, I have stumbled, yes, I have failed. Yes, there were times where my commentary was dull and uninteresting. Yes, there were times where I got unnecessarily mad at that level and sometimes necessarily mad too. <clears throat> An unfortunate architect. <clears throat> but overall, I'd say this was a net positive doing this channel. If I hadn't done this whole thing, I honestly think that this year as a whole would not have been as good. Doing this, these videos was a highlight for me and I'm glad I did them, mainly for you guys' sake, but also because it brought something to my otherwise honestly kind of dull life. I mean, I'm not a guy who's gonna go out and party all the day long and all the night long too and just go out and have a bunch of uh, very PGA team <laughs> encounters with other people. No, I'm not that kind of person really. No, I am very secluded, very in my room most of the day, and doing these videos gave me something to look forward to doing for most of those days, and I like that. I like that I have something that is just so much fun as this was, and that I am sure it will continue to be, just something that I can enjoy, that you guys can enjoy. It's just a great thing, and it's made my life better 
and I really hope it's made you guys' life better. If not, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this whole thing has been a huge learning experience. I've learned technical things, I've learned to be more upbeat, perhaps. You guys have taught me a lot about being interesting and you know, reaching out to you folks and trying to not make things dull. Again, I apologize for the videos that have, may not have been so fun. And I strive to improve every time I record. I try my best to make it as entertaining as I can. I don't always succeed, I will admit it, but I try to make my net positive increase as I go along. And hopefully in the near future, my videos will be all of a batting average of a very good amount. Until then, well, try to bear with me. We'll make it. So yeah, I guess that's really the big lines I wanted to cover here. I have had a lot of fun doing this channel, as I said, and the holes that I've been playing, honestly, on top of thanking you guys for watching and thanking me for deciding to go through with all this, I have to thank the architects of the holds themselves. The good ones, the bad ones, honestly, you guys, for better or for worse, you are contributing to a wonderful landscape of custom levels. And the good or the bad, you've contributed something to something amazing. Even if I may have perhaps called you out on making a bad hold, don't worry. I still think that for making a hold, for taking a time out of your life to make something, to contribute something to something else. That makes you pretty awesome in my book. Even if the result might not be as good as people would want it to be. Honestly, trying to do something and accomplishing something and you learn as you go along. Really, I guess that's what it all amounts to in the end. It's that you learn from it. I've learned from my videos and you guys, the architects who have been making levels and the game developers who have been making games, it's a learning experience either way. So keep doing what you're doing, whoever you are. I'm sure that it will be a positive benefit in your future, whoever you are. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome. All right, enough blatant encouragement. Let's get on to talking about what will be coming for this channel. I am planning to do more collabs, collab, collabs, collaborations. I need to get my pronunciation in check before it makes a riot. Okay, I will be making another collaboration and I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be Dr. Evil's Mega Complex by Zek and Kaller, the masterminds behind Gigantic Jewel Lost one of the best holds in the entire community, also one of the hardest, according to several people. Pearls did a let's play of it, and I am tackling its predecessor. So you can look forward to that. I will probably be joined by the usual suspects, unless one of them can't make it, in which case, well, whatever. But it will probably be the same team that joined me for Way Forward. So look forward to that. Aside from that, as I've been saying this whole video, I am trying my best to improve my videos and my schedules and trying to make sure that I don't have too many boring ones. Well, I am currently working on a system that involves a schedule that will prioritize quality videos and videos that you guys want, and videos that perhaps may take up more space. Basically, videos that need emphasis put on them. I will be giving them a priority spot on my schedule, and these will be uploading more often than the other lower priority holds. So basically, if a, if a hold or a game <clears throat> under tell <clears throat> ends up being in high enough demand, or I think it's a quality enough let's play, or it's you know, a huge sprawling series like Bovato's Dungeon or Unfortunate Architect or whatever. These will get the higher priority and playthroughs that may be slightly less interesting or might just be like one-shot videos or well cover holds that really no one cares about. Well, those will be in lower priority uh, slots and they will update less often if there are multiple parts, but they will still be uploaded. But without getting in the way of the series that you guys want and the good ones 
they will go unhampered as much as I try to, of course. It's only a work in progress idea, and yes, I am already trying to put it into play, but whether it works out in the long run, we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, I'm not unfailable. I may slip up on the schedule sometimes, and I apologize in advance. But yeah, the system's there, good things will have priority, the lesser things will be fighting for scraps. And aside from that, well, what other things will I be tackling on? Well, as some of uh, the older viewers around may know, there are two playthroughs that have been plaguing the ongoing series tab for an incredible amount of time, the Subterra playthrough and the Master Orion playthrough of Wonder Quest. Now, as I tackle the second year of B3 by Kina 7, I pledge, I pledge to one thing, and it is to see these series through. If they're not done by the end of next year, while well, you can throw me into the fire or whatever. <laughs> I told you guys to do it, so I guess you can feel not as morally bankrupt about doing it. Although psychological and philosophical implications, but whatever. If I haven't updated and finished these series by the next time I make a video for the second year, well, that makes me an idiot. Man, you get to call me out as much as you want. Because I promised right there that I would, uh, I would get these through. That's a promise that I intend to try my best to see through. Now, this video's been going on long enough, so... Yeah, happy anniversary, b 3 7 and the Drought Let's Plays. This has been your host, b 3 7 And this has been one wonderful year of Drod and other games and other things and it has been wonderful I gotta stop saying that word here's to a second year so I guess until the next time I make a video like this until the next 365 days have gone by I will see you in the next video and until then have a nice one And for those who are wondering, Undertale will update on Monday. Just deal with me here. With I, I, I like special occasions. I like to indulge my soul. There's going to be a little surprise for you tomorrow. I'm sure you'll like it. Anyway, have a nice one.